Tonight, the search for a teenage boy swept out into the ocean at Coney Island is over. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian has the latest from Coney Island Beach. Jessica, city council members Justin Brannon and Ari Kagan tweeted out that the body of that 15-year-old boy who's swimming here with his brother Thursday afternoon was recovered last night. We're also getting confirmation from council member Kagan's office that the 15-year-old boy lived in a shelter in the Bronx and was visiting family and friends in Coney Island when he was here. Officials say good Samaritans were able to rescue his brother hours after he went missing. Both councilman Brennan and Kagan tweeted out their condolences to the teen's family last night. At this time, police and the city medical examiner's office haven't released any information yet. Just the next day, another teen, 19-year-old Amadou Thayam, from Brooklyn was recovered from Jacob Reese State Park in the Rockaways, but died in the hospital. Adam Kachmarchi with National Drowning Prevention Alliance shares drowning rates have only risen in recent years. So this is a huge problem. In natural bodies of water, we typically see more teenagers and adults drowning in these situations where the little ones, the one to four-year-olds, are typically in pools or bodies of water that are near the home. Um, so, you know, it, it does vary by age and location what the risk is, but we are also seeing elevated numbers this season and have been since the beginning of the pandemic. And there are signs here in several different languages telling people not to swim unless lifeguards are on duty. There are also several of these red flags urging people not to swim, and there were no lifeguards on duty at the time those boys were in the water. And lifeguards are on duty seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. throughout city parks. In Coney Island, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.